welcome to the LA interview. Today I'm going to be talking to Kelvin City. Hello, Kelvin City. How do you feel about being voted the sexiest man in LA right now? It is like totally most extraordinary. I mean, every single day I have photo shoots. How popular with the girls are you? Brilliant. And what's it like having photo shoots every day? I mean, isn't that a girl thing? Don't you get bored of it? <laughs> yeah, not really, but it's not a girl, just a girl thing, and I don't get bored of it, no. Well, do you feel very famous? Yep, I do. But I hate paparazzis. Oh, isn't that a bit annoying because you do have them every day, don't you? Yes, I do. And it does, yeah, it gets quite annoying. It's pretty cool, yeah. And how does your family feel about this? Oh, they are fascinated by me. Uh-huh, expect so. So, has your whole life changed completely? Well, behind the scenes, it hasn't. Do you mean with family life? Is that what you mean? Sorry, I have to make it clear to the audience. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, that's what I mean. Family life, yeah. It's not like someone needs to help me get to the toilet. Well, no. Just the outside's changed, really. Were you popular at school? No, no! Can I ask you to sit down, please? Um, oh, sorry. Oh, I get those moments sometimes. Um, yeah. Sorry, audience, we had a sort of technical hitch. You call me technical? I'm physical! Ah! Ah! I hate you! Can you please not shout? It's ruining the technical hinges at the top of the room. I think we might need some guards to help you out to the door. Buden. So how's it like being on the show? Well, it is just awesome. Awesome, hey? But a bit saddening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I expect so. Yes. Um, so what's the questions going to, you're going to ask me? Is this on live TV? Is it? Oh, I'd just like to say, before you ask me any questions, can you not ask me about the things about my husband? Hey, of course. Why is that? If you don't mind me asking. He just doesn't like it. Right, okay. So how's it like not having your baby? Oh, I don't know. It's, it's upsetting. And... Yeah. Um, so what, what did it feel like, basically? Well, I thought it was coming. And then just suddenly they told me it was dead inside, inside my tummy. And, yeah, how did you feel? I was just so upset. I guess so. You don't have to go further with this if you don't want to. Okay? But what did you do when you found out the baby was dead? Oh, you... It's upsetting, okay? And scary. Yeah, I know. Don't worry, I wasn't trying to offend you. Oh. But what did you do? Like... Well, I I guess I just sat there crying my eyes out. In a few days' time, I just spoke to the doctor and sorted it through. It made me so angry. Yeah, I can imagine. Yes, certainly. But what was most scary is that baby was mine. I bought all the toys and the cradle, got everything sorted. Yeah, shame. Yes. Hmm... How did you feel then, when you looked at the cradle? I felt so upset that my baby had died and never met its parents. How did the weeks go? Like, what happened? Well, it, it was awful. I couldn't, couldn't keep my mind off it. Yeah, I can imagine, actually, yeah. Exactly my point. It was so devastating, and I was so upset as I ever had been. How did your family feel and what did they do to help you? They just supported me in every single way. They talked me through and they made me feel better. Okay, thanks for sharing your information. How, how do you feel? I don't know. Well, thank you anyway. And, um, ugh. Well, we'll see you tonight on the TV.
on BBC Two. See you next week, everyone.